Hey guys, Warrior here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, episode 16. What is happening? I heard noise. I don't know what kind of noise I heard, but that's alright. Horse, let's go. The question is, where are we going? I do not know. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Like always. Uh, let's see. Let us see. Nothing anywhere else except for these two missions here. The A and the M. What is the M? Micah Bell, of course. Uh, and Abigail? It is Abigail. Okay. All right, Abigail needs to talk to us. Wasn't there something like that, like, wasn't that like something she mentioned? Oh, we're not too far from camp either. That's good. We can ride there with speed. Alright. Well, hey, while we're on our way back to camp to hear whatever Abby Kill needs us for, if you guys are into the first episode or the previous episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, you guys can go to the beginning of the video. There will be two cards. Popping up at the beginning of the video, there, someone's being threatened out here somewhere. Open the damn lock. We'll give you the MK. It's a space company lockbox. We don't count the key. They're being robbed. They are being robbed, robbed right now. Boink in your head. In your head, bang bang! <laughs> All right. Don't worry, you're okay. <laughs> Man, Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. That's no problem. The stage company's gonna wrap this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Oh, okay. Pretty sick. Well, I know how to get into a lockbox pretty dang then go easily aim at the thing and your back. Done. I'll take everything. That's mine. That is mine. That's mine too. Baked beans, that's it? Okay. Oh my day. Now where was I? You alright, girl? Yeah. I don't know where I was right now. No, I didn't mention the cards. At the beginning of the video, there's also. I'll just continue from here, I guess. There's also a bunch of links in the description. One link will take you to the Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist, two others will take you to my Facebook pages, and one other will take you to my website if you're interested. They are down below in the bottom of the description. Who's there? Hi, Bill. <laughs> okay, Arthur. Who's there? Like, it really? Come on, you can just say your name in the comments. Alright, let's see. Alright, hold the brakes! Wrong button for the brakes! Hold the brakes! Alright, you can chew with the rest of these horses. I am going to hear what Abigail wants from me. How you feeling? Okay, a little better. Good. How are you? I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Mr. Scripture. Yeah. What do you mean? Michael Bell is a butthole. I He just shoot anybody just because. Right, Abigail, Abigail, who is this? What's your name? My name is Abigail. 
Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something to Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you. And, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We can go talk to Jack. Cheer him up a little bit. Don't know how, but. Can't imagine, you know, from all that snow we went through, everything we've been through. I think my horse needs a brush. Before I talk to Jack, I'm going to clean my horse. How did you get here and who tied you up? Uh, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, let's brush you off. Man, you dirty. Woo! Look at all that dust. Mamma mia, how dirty are you? You can just see all that dust coming off of you. <laughs> you need a proper bath. To find a waterfall and stand in there for a while. <laughs> Mamma mia. Oh, all right, all right. Here, yeah, have a snack. There you go. All right, Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Lazare made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it there. Go catch us some fish. Yeah. So we're going fishing. Okay. Well, he knows where his rod is. I I'll mount up. Lift you on when you're ready. Oh, it's right there. Come on, girl. Okay. She's just been clean. She's had a lot of dust on her. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, give me that fishing rod and hop on up. There we go. All right. Hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sad. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, I'm just talking silly. It's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. <laughs> yeah. So that might oh, actually be. I'm going to go fast. We're not too far from. as good a spot as any. Alright, off we go! And your fishing rod! Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. <laughs> He's excited for fishing. That's not what, uh, that's something I would participate in. 
fishing and less bored than I already was fishing and play games all day. <laughs> uh, we need some bait. Alright, so now we need bait. The only option that's allowing me to take is cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? The better the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Not your, your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to look it. Whoop, think I got one. Coming in. Okay, so we got a fish. Come up. Slowly but surely. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm going to try to reel in them in nice and steady. Come on, come quicker. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha. I got you. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. All right, throw them back. Woo! In the water you go. <laughs> Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. What noise he's gonna make? I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right, let's pick, equip some cheese. Put some cheese on the tip. And yee well, Let's try again. Oh, yeah, that was a terrible throw. <laughs> See that cast, Jack? Gotta hold it and you. Okay. Let's see what's biting there. Oh, all right, here we go. Alright, slowly reel it in while it's fighting. Easy. Tire yourself out, fishy. Go, roll, 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 roll. He's not splashing, he's coming. He's coming. I got you. Another bluegill. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for sure. That's eh, okay. Throw it back. <laughs> Fishing sure is boring, little Barker. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. Uh, yeah, it is boring. I cannot please. Man, It'll stop. Something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. In such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet you. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. 
$5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Van Der Oh, well, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent Joe. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. Fancy fishing. Come on, late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. We gotta report this to Dutch, probably. This is bad. Can we go now, please? We're going! Relax! It's so all fine. Man, this is bad. Got a special agents that are looking for us here. Woo! Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well... Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Talk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And you gotta be quiet, you gotta have a patience. Oh. <laughs> fishing in the Far Cry is much more fun. Oh, there she is. There you are. How you boys get known? Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Thank that crazy. You have the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just not so fucked. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. All right, Dutch, we got a problem. We got a problem. <laughs> I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know where he is. You followed back here. No, they know we're near here. They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived the mountains. We just need to stay 
Com. Okay. All right, mission completed, Fisher of Men. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that is a little freaked out about this situation. <laughs> Uh, what is over here? Is that an odd icon over here? It's like, what are you over here? You joining us, Morgan? Uh, who spoke? Looking good, Bill. Hello. Oh, it's you. You're the one you it's like other activities. I think we can go robbing houses with him and we can go shooting with them. Uh, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm good. What's Mr. up, Swanson? Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I made such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Okay, let's take a look at our world. Let's see, what's the ledger say? Let's take a look at that first. And uh, rather than that I make a payment, I did, and I also contributed on making some upgrades. Let's see. The next thing we can get is two hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, uh, three hundred dollars, one hundred and seventy-five dollars. Oh my days! That's fine. If I contribute, what could I give towards the camp? Can I give an item? I'll give them two silver pocket watches. I know what to do with it. Mission Fisher of Men complete. So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted him to hang him. <laughs> Boy, he amuses me. He done good, Arthur. Loyalty. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Oh, he just finished the food. Hey, that's nice. Well, anyways, we got... Everybody's saying hi to me. Hi to me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Map-wise. Well, we did go to Abigail now. And what is this? John Marston. We have a bounty of $25. We can find ourselves a station or a mail. A post office. I can pay off the bounty. I have the money. That's what Michael Bell did at Strawberry. I got a two hundred and sixty-five dollar bounty on my head. Oh, my Michael. Oh, and Michael Bell is not far from Strawberry either. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder what next. Is he gonna get a two thousand dollar bounty on my head and my head worth seven thousand dollars? <laughs> oh grand. But yeah, I guess next time we do go over to Micah Bell and hear what he's complaining about next. Ugh. Let me see, I need to no, not there. We need to go to the story. We need to save the game. And we are now officially 
24% of the way there. <laughs> well, I do believe that that percentage is... I don't know. I don't remember if it's focused on the story or if it's focused on the entire game. Because in the entire game, there's an, there's an absolute ton to do with collectibles and all that. And I'm not really bothered with that stuff. Well, we will finish the story one day. <laughs> it's just going to take us a long time now. I mean, we're only here. I know this story is like super long. So, we'll get there in an episode. Well, if I guess... 80? <laughs> I have no idea. But anyway, so plans for next time. To most likely hit the tracks from our camp. Run along the train tracks, hit up the old post office, pay off the $25 bounty that we have over here, and later we'll worry about the $265 bounty things to Micah. Ugh. <laughs> and the post office and Micah should be our goals for next time. Alright then, that is all set. So, like I said, if you guys want to see the first episode or the previous episode of Red Dead Redemption to you guys can go to the beginning of the video. There will be two cards popping up there. You can click on those if you're interested. There's also a whole bunch of links in the description. One link will take you to the Red Dead... One link will take you to the Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist. Two others will take you to my Facebook pages. And one other will take you to my website if you are interested. They're all in the bottom of the description. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, share it if you really liked it, comment to say if you wish. I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I found something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No, just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Ah, thank you, Lily. Or is it Timmy? I don't know. Shop robbery, huh? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.